Hey my beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you guys a drugstore haul. So the other weekend I went to CVS, Target, and I picked up a bunch of new stuff from me, like that has to do with makeup or beauty. I did pick up a little bit of like extra things, you know how it always goes, but the one thing that I was going in there for is that I really wanted to get the new Maybelline Lemonade Palette and I couldn't find it and one of you guys was so sweet and kind to send it to me so I have it right here and it says hi Esme I hope you enjoyed the palette cannot wait until we see the look that you upload I love your videos and you are an inspiration thank you for your loving personality and spirit XOXO from Yasmina Cruz so thank you so much girl uh, when you tweeted me that you like I was gonna be receiving this soon I got so freaking excited because I was like I didn't want to order it from Amazon I could have ordered it but I was just like I thought they would have it in stores and they didn't have it in stores at all. It was sold out everywhere. So I don't know what the whole buzz is about, but I'm so excited. So this is the first thing I wanted to show you guys that I got this palette from one of you guys and I'm just so excited. I can't wait until I create looks with this. So I will be doing makeup tutorials with this palette to see if it's good or not. But yeah, so anyways, I will be sharing with you guys now the stuff that I did buy. So if you guys wanna know what I got at CVS and Target, then just keep on watching. But before we jump into the video, if you guys are not part of the Birdie family and would like to join, don't forget to subscribe. And also don't forget to hit that rainbow notification. That way every time I upload new videos, you guys can all be notified. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start out with Target because it's like the place that I got the least stuff. And yeah, so the first thing I wanna share with you guys is I got these two buckets. They're so freaking cute. They're just so useful whenever I have to bring back and forth like my makeup products because you know, obviously when I do videos for you guys, if you guys check the description box, I always leave links to um, most of the products that I always use or mention in my videos. So whenever I do have to do that, I always put them in a bucket or something so I can actually like look at the look up the products and then get the links for you guys so you guys know where to purchase them. So these are super useful for me and they were only three bucks. So I got these two. One is like a polka dot lavender and the other one is like more of a spring themed flower beautiful beautiful i love them and they're just so good so i got two of them so going in now into the makeup so i picked up these two palettes from pacifica this one is called beachy punk and the other one is pink nudes pink nudes is really really calling my names you guys like this looks so freaking cute and it just has like all matte shades neutrals it's literally like the perfect nude palette so i can't wait to try this and hopefully it's really really good but this one it looks like it has more colorful colors more for the summer time like a little bit of spring but it's overall like really really pretty there is some shimmery eyeshadows up in here so yeah these are the two palettes that i picked out and i can't wait to try them since i couldn't find the maybelline palette i did pick up three maybelline eyeshadow palettes so this one is called total temptation it looks really good you guys i don't know it's one of their newest palettes too so this is one of them that i picked out the other one is pink edge this one has more matte shades it looks very very interesting too it has really pretty shades too so I'm excited to use this one. And then the last one, um, I just wanted to pick it out just to have fun with it, try it out, see if it's gonna be good or not, but it's called Urban Light. And this one has very pastel-y colors and they're, most of them are really, really shimmery. So there's not a lot of mattes in here, but overall, I'm still excited because, you know, I, right now I've been trying to go reaching out for more colors. So yeah, this is the last palette that I picked up from Maybelline. Okay, then I was so excited to try out the new Maybelline um, foundation. This is called the Dream Set and Liquid Foundation. I don't know if 20 is my shade. I don't know. But hopefully it is. I want to do a first impression. So let me know if you guys want to see that first impression on this foundation. I would be more than happy to do that for you guys. But it's supposed to be a foundation that has hydrating serum. You guys know I'm really into makeup products that have skincare in them. So I'm so excited for this foundation. I hope it's so good. So let me know if you guys do want to see a first impression on this foundation. But with that, I also picked up the new Fit Me Loose setting powder. So this one, I picked it out in 20 light medium. I do like my powders to be a little bit lighter just because I want them at the end to kind of sort of brighten the face a little bit. So I picked up this one. It looks like it is going to be a good shade. It looks more on the warm side, so... That's usually what I go for. And yeah, so this is their new Fit Me. Usually I, for the most part, for the powders, I love Maybelline's Better Than Skin Powder, like that one. 
is one of my favorite drugstores but this one i'm so freaking excited for so hopefully it's good let me know if you guys have tried it but yeah i'm so excited for this the last two things that i picked up from target are actually recommendations from ale all about ale so the first thing that she like raved about was this fit me blush she says it's like one of her holy grails at the moment and so i picked up the color rose so this is what it looks like and yeah she i mean her cheek like her cheeks always look so beautiful the color of her blush is always nice it just goes with every single makeup look and she finally told me it was this one the new maybelline fit me so i was like oh my god so when i was in there and i saw them i was like okay i'm picking it up i'm taking you with me so i picked up this new blush and it's the color 30 so rose 30 that's the color and then the last thing she also recommended and she swears by it is the new or i don't even know if it's new honestly but it's a sonia kashuk makeup brush cleansing spray this is what it looks like she says that she bought this by accident that she wasn't supposed to buy it but she didn't have a brush cleaner or anything so she was like you know what screw it let me just try you Hopefully you work, you know? And then she ended up saying that it's now her holy grail to clean her brushes. She says it completely gets rid of everything that's on your brush and it right away, you can instantly use it again. You don't have to be waiting such a long time to use your brushes again. So I'm really, really excited because I am always looking for a really good one. One that doesn't have so many, like, I don't know. Like, I hate the ones that just have so many strong chemical smells. Like, I just hate those because I don't want to apply that on my face right away. Like, I actually want to instead clean it and wash it and just use a new brush. But if this one doesn't smell as bad, I'm going to be happy. <laughs> so now, moving on to CVS. I bought a bunch of things. I just went crazy because I didn't realize how many new brands are in CVS. I was just like, when do they come in? Like, bruh. Now everything is going into Ulta, CVS, like I'm just so in shock because I'm like, damn, the beauty community has actually grown so much, which makes me so happy, but I'm just like, oh my God, everything's going so fast. <laughs> Since everything is like mixed up in here, I'm just gonna be pulling out stuff and just letting you guys know what it is. I think I'm really, really excited for this one because this is the new Neutrogena Ultra Light Cleansing Oil. So it's supposedly, um, it's supposed to be a makeup remover, but in an oil form. Now you guys know I love bombs. Bombs are like everything for me now. Wipes, makeup remover wipes, we don't know her anymore. So anything that is like a bomb or an oil just to kind of melt off all your makeup, I'm here for it because I don't have the time to be like rubbing my face anymore. I have noticed that I think I do go a little in too hard with wipes sometimes. So with the balm, it just like, it's more gentle for my skin. And obviously I am now in my late twenties. So I'm really trying to take care of my skin, especially because you guys know my under eye circles. I never took care of these. I never knew any anything about eye creams or anything. So, which is why I have more prominent, you know, eye under eye wrinkles than most of the people around my age. But anyways, I am so excited to use this. I will let you guys know how it works out. But Neutrogena has always been such a great drugstore brand, you guys. Like, their stuff is amazing. I swear by a lot of the Neutrogena products. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you guys how that works. <laughs> All right, so then I also picked up this pony wrap. I always do ponytails, but I always have... I don't like wrapping the hair around. Like, I don't know, it just annoys the crap out of me because my hair is just too thick for bobby pins just to like have it stay in place. So I'm really, really excited to try this one out. Supposedly it's, you know, it has instructions in the back. It's gonna help me. I will let you guys know how this works out. Most of the times they're a miss, but I'm really praying that this one is one of those that is just super good and will do the job. So yeah. The next thing that I have here is something from Revlon. This is their new highlighter palette. This is called Sunlight, no, Sunlit Dream. And I don't know, I'm so excited for it. They also, I think, had a holographic one, but this these colors are like a little more my type of tones. But I'm really excited. Um, they look really, really good, like as you guys can see. So I hope they work out in a tutorial, but I mean, they look very, very promising, so. I'm so excited for this. Like, you guys have no idea. Because usually it's really hard to find actual highlighters that look so good. Like, most of the time they look a little chalky. You guys know what I'm saying? So, this one looks really promising. It looks really, really buttery. Not chalky at all. 
So I'm hoping and praying that that's the case and that, you know, we can find one because let's get real. The Maybelline Chrome one, that, I don't think nothing can beat it right now. That's just like a huge hit for the drugstore brands. <laughs> Next thing is from Neutrogena. I picked up this primer that's the Shine Control Primer. They actually had another primer. I think we had SPF and it was like more about smoothing the face. But the last one that they had there was open. Somebody had already like, I guess, used it, which is so frustrating. That's one of the downsides about going into a drugstore store that most of the time products are already open, tested, and used. And it sucks because it's not like you want to buy a used product, you know? So this was the only one that was not open. And I was just like, okay, I've never tried it. Let me see if it's actually gonna be nice for oily skin or whatever. So it says it has an eight hour shine control with or without makeup. So we're gonna see what that looks like on the skin once I try it out, but I'm really, really excited for this. I'm gonna try and go back for the other one once they restock, but I'm really excited for this. Okay, so this is one of the new brands that I was talking to you guys about that I had no idea they were in CVS. So this is TIGI and it's a translucent high definition setting powder. Um, they do have a couple different other ones, the, um, like light, medium, and I think deep. But this one, I just wanted to pick it out in translucent just to see how it's gonna work out. The other ones, I was just like not really feeling them, but I mean, hopefully it's good. It's not, it wasn't that pricey. I had never seen any products from them in the past before or even heard of them. So I will let you guys know how this one works out too. So along with that, I also picked up one of their diamond lipsticks in the color Fierce, which is a red color. Their packaging is very, very interesting. It's super chic and sleek, like, I don't know, it's just really, really cool. And when you open it up, the lipstick comes in an actual diamond form. So, I mean, you could say it's like squared, but it's more of a diamond. And let me swatch it. So this is what the lipstick color looks like. It's more of a hydrating type of lipstick. Um, it's not completely matte and it does look like it's more on the sheer side. So yeah, but uh, it does have a smell to it. It's not that bad, but um, yeah, this is what the lipstick looks like. The other thing I also wanted to try was a few other skincare products, and I was looking for an actual face scrub, and then I found a cure. This is the one that I picked up. This is their facial scrub that is for brightening the skin. I used to use a, a cure like, I would say maybe six years ago, their packaging was a completely different from what it looks like now. So I couldn't even recognize when I first like looked at it because I was like, wait, Akira, that's, that name sounds so familiar. But I'm telling you guys, the whole packaging completely changed. They rebranded, I think, or whatever. And so I was just like, okay, let me see if they haven't changed their formula because I remember I did used to really, really love their face scrubs. So I, try, I picked this one up. I'm really, really excited to try it. Hopefully that not a lot has changed because like I said, I did used to really love their um, scrub like back in the day, so yeah. Another product that I picked up from Neutrogena, I believe this is the foundation, but this is what it looks like. This one is called the Healthy Skin Enhancer. It has sunscreen of SPF 20. It also has three daily essentials, which is retinal treatment, sun protection, and a sheer tint. And this one, I picked it up in the color light to neutral. I was supposed to look for um, medium or light medium, but they didn't have my color, of course they didn't. So I picked this one up just to see like what it's gonna do to my skin. Um, I like using these type of um, products whenever I don't wanna use any makeup or if I wanna just go work out but I still have a little bit of tint but also protect my skin. I like to use those too so I'll let you guys know how that works out. And then also another foundation that I picked up is this one from Revlon. This is their Insta Filter Foundation. I picked up the color 210. Hopefully that is my shade. But this is a new foundation. I haven't tried it, so let me know if you guys would like to see a first impression, but this is another one that I picked up. Also from Revlon, I did also pick up their uh, spray. This was to prep, set, and also refresh the skin. Uh, usually setting sprays are hit or miss for me, personally. Um, so I'm really, really praying that this one actually works out for my skin because it's really hard to actually find a drugstore setting spray or let me know if I'm just like not trying the correct ones, but let me know if you guys have a favorite one from the drugstore, that way I can just go and try that one. But since this one's new, I'm willing to give it a try. 
So then this is another new brand that I didn't know existed, but I guess it's new and it's from, it's by Kiz. It's called RK. So I picked up their 3D contour palette and this was so freaking cheap, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. This brand is really, really, really affordable. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take you home. Hopefully it's a good one. So I'll let you guys know, but let me know if you guys have tried any of their products because they have so many good, like good looking products. Like, so I was like, let me pick up a little bit of them. <laughs> but another new powder that I also picked up was this one from Neutrogena. I don't know if it's new or not, but it's new for me and it's called the Loose Powder Foundation Mineral Shears. I don't know how good this is, but if you guys have tried it, let me know. I just, I'm just really trying to like try out new drugstore powders just because I realized I really don't have that many that I love. Like I like the Makeup Revolution one. I like the Maybelline one. I like my Rimmel, but I think that's about it. So I realized like I don't really have so many drugstore powders. So I'm trying to see like which ones are good, you know? <laughs> Another one from the RK um, brand is their matte finish uh, powder foundation. So I really don't use powder foundations to be honest, but I do like to use them on top of my foundation just to add a little extra coverage and also to obviously set my foundation. So I'm excited to try this one. And like I said, this was so affordable. So I am so excited. I picked up the color Light Nude. And I also picked up the bronzing powder, which you guys know I never really use bronzing powders like this, but I was just like, I, you know what? I'm gonna try as many products as I can from them to see just how they're gonna work out. I kinda see myself using this all over my body though. I'm not gonna lie. Like the color of this is so beautiful. So yeah, it says all over glow and it's in the color light glow. And this is what it looks like. So I'll let you guys know how all of their products work out, but I think that was the last product that I picked up from them. If not, I probably picked up also some lipsticks. All right, so not too long ago, Bird's Bees uh, came out with more makeup. So this is some of the stuff that I picked up. I picked up a mascara, eyeshadow, little eyeshadow quad, and then also two lipsticks in these colors. One is like a nude, one is like a deep plum. Um, the colors are 500, which is now nude, and 531 Jupiter Water. And then the little quad that I picked out is Dusky Woods, which is which just has like neutral shades just because I'm trying to like try out the new products. And then this mascara is called the Nourishing Mascara. So I picked it up in black because of course I always wear black. But I don't know you guys. I don't know how Burt's Bees makeup works out. Have you guys tried it? If you guys have, let me know. But I am dying to try out the lipsticks. Let me open one. Oh crap. This one was already used. You can tell this was used, you guys. Like, that is a, oh my God. I hate when they do this. This one hasn't been swatched. Yay! Like, this one looks really nice and clean. Like, okay, I'm gonna swatch this one. Oh, <laughs> they're exactly like the same formula as this one over here. Super sheer, very creamy, hydrating, but Oh my God, the other one is just a disappointment because it looks like it's a pretty color, but why did they have to swatch it? But yeah, this is what it looks like. I also picked up another foundation. This one is from Neutrogena. It also has a little bit of skincare, SPF 20, and yeah, I've never actually have worn this foundation. I think they also have another foundation that I really wanted to try, but they were just completely out of all the colors. I feel like there was only like two colors left, but they weren't even my shades, so. I am excited to try this one out. This one I picked it up in the color 40, which is nude. But yeah, I'm excited to also try this one out. Okay, this is another one that I didn't even realize that they existed in CVS. It's called Equal Soul. And I picked up a bunch of their uh, single eyeshadows. These look so good, you guys. I didn't swatch them in store because like I said, you can't really swatch them, but they look bomb. So let me just open one for you guys. So this is what it looks like when you get the little cap off. You get a super nice shimmery loose type of eyeshadow. Oh my God, you guys, these look so promising. So I'm really, really excited to try this one. This one is more of a rosy gold type of color. The other one is more of a, like a light bronzy shade. And then this one looks more of a uh, taupey champagne color. So I picked up three colors and I'm really, really excited to try these. So 
I will let you guys know in a tutorial how they work out. So the other thing that I also picked up from them is their water eye tint, which at the beginning I didn't know what the hell it was, but looking at it, I feel like it's just like a eyeshadow in a liquid form. And then this is the swatch of it. As you guys can see, it's very, very blinding. It looks really, really promising. So yeah, I'm excited to also try these. Like they look like they're really amazing products. So I will let you guys know how they work out. From L'Oreal, I also picked up the Magic Lumi highlighters. I haven't tried these actually ever. So I was just like super curious to see how they're gonna work out. But I picked up um, medium and then also light just to kind of mix the both of them since I like my colors to be light medium. Um, but yeah, so I picked up these two and I will try them out for you guys. Along with L'Oreal, I picked up this red uh, liquid lipstick from them. I always see it in so many people and it looks so gorgeous. And I was like, I need to have it. Cause I do love red lipsticks, you know guys, you guys know that. And so I picked up this one. This is the shade number 368, which is called Matador. So even the name I'm like, Ooh. yeah you gotta go home with me. So I'm excited to try it now. And I also picked up the Melting Pout uh, Gel Liquid Lipsticks. I think that's what they're called. But I picked up two, one of, the, of course, the colors that I always use, nude or either red. So I picked up these two just to try them out, see how they're gonna work out. I've never heard of them. I feel like they are new, cause honestly, I've never seen anyone talk about them. And yeah, I'm gonna see how these work out. Also from CoverGirl, I picked up the Katy Perry lipsticks. I picked up three colors, a nude, a pinky one, and a red one. Again, I've never tried these. These look really, really like pigmented, to be honest. Let me try to open one and swatch it for you guys. Let me put it next to the red one. But bam, there it is. You can see it's completely like full coverage type of lipstick. So I'm really, really excited for these lipsticks. They look really nice. Like the formula just glides on so easily, so buttery. So I'm really excited for these lipsticks. So the colors, just to let you guys know which ones I got. This one is Crimson Cat, which is the red one. The nude one is, I don't even know what color this is. I'm gonna write it right here. <laughs> and then the pink one is Pink Paws, which is such a cute name. Um, but yeah, so these, I'm so excited. The last two things that I picked up are glosses. From NYX, these are new. So you guys know that the NYX Laundry liquid lipsticks were a huge hit. Like a lot of people really, really love those. And I am actually one of those people. But I walked in and I saw that they have glosses now from the Laundry collection, which I'm so freaking excited. So they have three different um, formulas, you could say. So they have a shimmer one and also a glitter one. And then they also have one that doesn't have any shimmer or glitter whatsoever. It's just like a creamy color. So I like them with a little bit of shimmer because if I'm gonna wear them on top of my new lipstick, my new lipstick is already matte, you know? So let's just skip the whole creamy formula and let's add a little bit of shimmer just to make the lips a little beautiful. Um, so I picked up these two, just shy, um, and they're just in the same like color, but just different formula. Like I said, it's just one is shimmer, one is glitter. <gasps> I hope they're really, really good. All right, my love, so that is it for my drugstore haul. Out of all the products, now that you guys know, let me know what you guys want me to use in my next tutorial because I do wanna do a whole full face of first impressions just using all my drugstore products. So let me know in the comments down below which ones you guys really, really wanna see. Also, I did wanna just explain to you guys a little bit because I did have a comment um, the other day that someone said that they find it weird that we beauty gurus that get a lot of makeup sent are out buying makeup. Um, and I just wanted to explain to you guys that, you know, this is our job and my job pretty much is to try out new products. And a lot of these products weren't even sent to me. So I wanted to just go out and purchase them, try out the products, let you guys know how they work because at the end of the day, this is my job. This is what I do for a living. So this is why I go out and purchase the products. But, you know, I just wanted to kind of clarify that because I do find it kind of like, it is kind of stupid for someone that gets so much makeup to go out and buy even more makeup. But at the end of the day, like I said, you guys, um, it's just like for my job, you know, like so I can give you guys a review. I just wanted to explain that because I do find it sometimes, you know, a little confusing and like weird for people to think that. But yeah, it's just pretty much to give you guys a review, you know? So yeah, but anyways, with that being said, do let me know what products you guys want to see in my next videos or 
to do exclusive like reviews for the products and I will do that for you guys. But yeah, so anyways, I hope that you guys liked the video. If you guys did, don't forget to give me guys a thumbs up. And also, as always, if you guys believe that we can and we will make a difference, then don't forget to subscribe. Also, don't forget to hit that rainbow notification before you leave. And yeah, with that, my loves, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye. Mwah. All right, who fucking farted? Oh, thank you. Look at the computer mouse go fuck, man. Okay. Why? Why did they have to open it?